You know, when it rains, the water is great for the flowers, and I love going swimming in a pool, but the last thing any of us want is water in our basements or in our crawl spaces. It's how you manage that water that keeps a basement bone dry. We've got some tips, come with me. Hey, Mike. Hey, Lou. Nice to see you. Good to see you. We're here with Mike from Permaseal. Now, Mike, you're gonna give us some information on not only the sump pumps that we should have in our basements, but importantly, most importantly, I think, is battery backup systems. Absolutely, Lou. I got some stuff set up in the basement. Let's go take a look. You got it. Okay, so Mike, for those that are watching the show that live out in California or maybe in Florida, they're like, why do I need a sump pump? I don't have a basement. But there's a huge section of the country that has either basements or crawl spaces, and this stuff is really important. You got it. All right, let's talk about primary pumps first, because this is an area where I think a lot of people have this notion that, well, I can just go to the hardware store and buy whatever pump I want. It's really important to choose the right pump. Talk to me about this one right here. Well, this pump here, it's a mechanical switch sump pump, a simple operating pump, water inside the pit raises, the bobber raises, pushes the switch up, pump activates. As it pumps the water out, the bobber drops, switch goes down and turns the pump off. Nothing floating around inside the pit to get hung up on or potentially cause that pump from, from uh, operating. Um, and very reliable. Let's talk about some different pumps. You, you set up an example here of, you, you talked about how there's pumps out there that are plastic, kind of lighter weight. These are very right. inexpensive pumps that you can buy. And you're not a big fan of this switch, are you? That type of switch is called a tethered switch, Lou. It's basically like a bobber. And as the water level inside the basin increases, that bobber starts to float until it gets straight up. That activates the pump. The problem with that type of switch is as that bobber starts to rise, it can get hung up on other things inside the pit or on the wall of the actual sump basin itself. If that happens, your pump doesn't run. This pump here has what's called a pressure switch. Correct. Talk about how this works. Well, it basically relies on water pressure inside the basin itself. As the water pressure builds up, it pushes through a switch activating the pump and they're just not that reliable. Well, the switch, obviously you're relying on water pressure, but the switch can wear out very easily, right. and some switches can last as long as the pump, or even longer, or a lot less. So that's right. something that you have to, con to look into as well, or okay. consider. So go and grab what you have over here. This is the key here, is the backup. Now, you guys at Permaseal talk about the fact that all sump pumps fail. Correct. And, and that's the truth, they fail. And so in particular, whether you have a finished basement or an unfinished basement, what are you gonna do if the pump fails and or the power goes out? There's different types of battery backup systems, Lou. You have AC, DC systems, and then you have what's called a DC system. This particular model is a uh, equivalent to a quarter horsepower pump. Uh, and battery backups like this are designed to activate in the event of a primary pump failure or a power outage. But battery backups can also be useful if there's so much water coming into your sump basin, they can actually assist. Most battery backups, when they activate, do have an alarm on it. All right, now, let's. you talked about the batteries, and I want to show this. Uh, I'm not that strong, it's actually an empty box <laughs> because right. these things are really heavy. You got it. Most battery systems out there use a battery that's very similar to what's found in a car. Yeah, what you have is you have what are called um, acid, lead acid batteries. They require uh, water to be added, distilled water, um, which requires maintenance. And unfortunately, homeowners can, you know, forget about it. And then when you need that battery backup, in that case, it won't work for you. This is great information. This is a lot of information, I know. And so what I, I can promise you is if you go to our website, housemartstv.com, we have even more information because getting this right is the secret to keeping your basement or your crawl space dry. Okay, all that stuff that was on the table fits inside this sump pump pit. Here's a cutaway so you can see what it looks like. There's that primary pump, the backup pump system, and then this pit gets buried in the ground and the drain tile gets connected into it. Here's the battery inside this case, and this is the charger, and it's also kind of the brains of the whole operation that if the battery system ever kicks in, there's an alarm that goes off, and then this pipe comes up and goes out. But what you have to ensure is that you have the right primary pump. And for my money, if you're gonna invest in a good pump, you have to have a battery backup system. So if that power goes out, you'll ensure that your basement or crawl space stays bone dry.